And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a party game from Repos Production called So Clover. Now, Repos Production, a couple years ago, put out one of the most popular party games to come out in a long time called Just One. A very simple game where everyone wrote clues down for one person to guess, and then that person, if you wrote the same clue as someone else, they were erased, and then you were left with clues. Very fun game, played consistently, a big hit for them. This is in the same size box, kind of a follow-up to that to some degree, called So Clover. Now, the designer, uh, Francois Romain, is a brand new designer. This is the only game that they've done. But this is another party game where everyone's kind of working together. You're just seeing how many points you can score. It's not even really a win or lose style game. But it's based on word association, which is very popular, made popular by another game called Codenames. But this game is different. Let me show you how. In this game, each player gets a clover board and a white you know, erasable marker that you can write on it. And in each round of the game, you are going to get four clue cards. These are going to be randomly placed on your board. You can't really look where they're placed, so I'm just randomly placing them here on the board. And then secretly, you're going to take a look at each of these, and you're going to write a one-word clue here, a single word, compound words are allowed, that will make people think of both those clues. Cactus and bread, chess and cereal, evening and melon, and lake and princess. Well, here I might write lady, okay? Because I might want people to think lady of the lake and a princess is a lady. Cactus and bread. Um, well, for some reason, I, I'm trying to, I'm going to write out back here because Outback has delicious bread, and there's cactus, cacti in the Outback, we'll see. And then chess and cereal. Oh man, what could I write? A word that will make people think of both of those. So maybe with chess there are pieces, and cereal there are pieces, checkmate, king, bishop, uh, pawn. I'm just gonna write pieces, and maybe people will think of pieces of chess, chess pieces, and cereal pieces. Evening and melon. Um, well, let's see, melon. Man, there's not a lot of words that go with melon. So I'm just going to write water here. That will probably get people to think of melon, but I don't know what else they will do. Ah, oh, but I just realized lake is here. I can't write water because people will think that's lake. So how about melon? I'll say a cantaloupe. You know, and actually at that point, you know, people are going to get that one. So once everyone has written these down, you will then take the four cards off. We'll go through one person at a time. You'll take the four cards off. You'll add a fifth card in. We shuffle them. And then we put the cards face up along with your clues. Now, as you look at these clues, whew. All right, so here on this one, I have Pandasaurus and Panda and Fingers and Sailors. And I have these five cards here. One of them is not going to go on at all. So I'm looking here, I'm like, man, none of this seems to fit. Well, here's Asia. So Asia, I'm, I think a panda might come from Asia, and fingers with glove. Oh, so this matches that corner. All right, go ahead. What else goes with fingers? I got pyramid, club, loop, stylus, smoke, needle, knot, butcher, maybe needle, plush, archaeology, cork, distributor, Track, milk, taste, hell. So, hey, maybe needle goes here, which, oh, that fits because not would go with sailors. Well, sailors might come from hell, though I don't know how track fits with Pandasaurus, but, ooh, Pandasaurus made a game called The Loop. And a panda stylist, I don't know, we'll try this one. So once everyone has kind of said, hey, everyone's working together, and the person who made the board is called the spectator, everyone else is doing it, the spectator can't communicate, everyone's talking about what goes where, and they put these out there, and we'll say we're done. The spectator then will say, hey, it's perfectly correct, in which case, 
you get one point for each card and two points for getting them all correctly. But it's not correct in this case. Say, well, the, the, the person would say, these clues are wrong. And like, okay, so we know these two are right. Ooh, what about a plush panda? And let's put the loop over here, which sailors might be in a club. And then the person would say, correct. Yay. The second time you get one point for each correct card. That's it. You go through each player, and that is, well, not one round of the game. That is the end of the game. But I promise you, you'll play more times than that. The game really has three components. You have these plastic clover trays, and the cards really fit nicely on them, you know, and that that's the other main component of the game is these cards. There's a ton of them, and they all have four words on them, and they did a good job at picking these. I mean, a dance station works together, crown and throat, I don't know, delivery matter. It's it's really, the, the cards are, are nice quality. They're a little thick cardboard here. Not, not too thick, but enough that they bend and they fit easily on these. And then the markers themselves are decent quality. The rules are really simp simple. It's not a complex game at all. The components for this game are fine. <laughs> Over the past few months, So Clover has become one of the most played games in my collection. This game, every time I introduce it to people, they have fun doing so. Now, it is essentially more of an activity than a game. That's the way I've always played just one. When we play just one, yes, there's a way to score it. You keep track of the cards, and but I would just play and play and play. Someone's like, I gotta get going. Someone else takes their spot. So Clover is very similar. Everyone's trying to put these cards in. Someone can wander up to the table and you're like, hey, what do you think? Because the game is all about the discussion. There's not a lot of rules about what clues you can and cannot use. I think there's like three negative things you can't do. You can't use, you know, you can't change it to another language. You can't use a word that's in the same family. And you can't use made up words. Um, that's it. You can use proper nouns. You can do whatever you want. And sometimes a clue can be very clever and sometimes it makes no sense at all. But what's cool is fitting the card in the corner. You'll say, okay, I definitely know, for example, in the clue, I know glove goes with fingers. That makes sense. But needle, well, I guess that makes sense because you use your fingers for, with a needle or you can prick your fingers with a needle. But then let's look at the clue on the other side. Does that match? Well then, yes, then this goes in that corner. And You'll find that most of the time people will get it right, well, the second time through. <laughs> it doesn't always happen on the first time, but it can. You'll also find that writing those clues is really hard, but everyone does it at the same time. You're not sitting there while everyone's watching you. Everyone's just filling out their clues. You put your boards down, then you just go through each person one at a time. Or not. You could just have one person just keep doing the clues by themselves. Uh, this has... I mean, this is, again, this is the kind of activity you can just do. You're just like, hey, let's play this for 20 minutes. Do we care what the scores are? Nah, just a way to pass the time. And you will find it entertaining. If you like code names, you'll like So Clover. If you like activities that make you think and cause discussion between everyone else, you'll like So Clover. I took, uh, this is the second party game this week that I've reviewed that has this kind of theming, and I tend to like these. I like the discussion it brings out. I like the fact that everyone, it's very casual and laid back, and I think this one's going to get some good positive buzz because, yes, it's not a game in the strictest definition of the word. I mean, there is a thing here. You add up all the points and write your score in the record of legends. Who cares? The record of legends, you know, a sheet of paper here. I don't care what the record of legends says. We had a good time, and that's legendary enough for me. Certainly one for people to check out. I think this is going to be a very popular game, and it's very popular with my group and myself. That's So Clover. Not sure I love the name, but hey, check it out. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent. <laughs> <laughs>